Now we head to Erie County, where tonight some state lawmakers are expressing concern over the distribution process of the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority. Our Jamison Hicksonbaugh has been following this story, and Jamison, the Democrat and Republican lawmakers want an additional audit from the Auditor General's office. Why is that? Over the operations of ECRA, and he's now getting support from both sides of the political aisle. Along with Davis, a total of six lawmakers, including representatives Pat Harkins, Bob Mursky, Jake Banta, and Senator Dan Laughlin, signed and sent a letter to ECRA's office expressing their concerns. The group collectively expressed concern over the use of funds not being reported on ECRA's website. And they are now requesting an additional audit and are asking ECRA to refrain from voting on a new contract for its executive director. Really the key here, one is the transparency component of this being casino gaming revenue money, but it, it, it is guided by casino gaming revenue law. You know, we want to make sure that the money that's being invested or the money that's being allocated by this board and by this authority is inside the confines of the law. I mean, that is the main purpose. ECRA board chairman Dale Barney responded to the letter, saying in part, quote, the ECRA board received your letter and would welcome any opportunity to meet with you to discuss any concerns whatsoever. He then went on to say that we are troubled by the continual overreach and untrue accusations of mismanagement being leveled by County Executive Brenton Davis. And there's no evidence to support any of his accusations and there's no reason for any additional audit. Per our charter, we perform an independent audit every year. And the board is scheduled to vote on its executive director's contract on Thursday. Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.